time of year, the kids are on vacation right now for summer break, but it's a time really to talk with them to see, hey, what school should they be enrolled in? Maybe the same one, or maybe it's time to switch it up. Right now, I'd like to welcome Dr. Anthony Mortimer from Greenwood School to tell us all about how they do things because it's a little different. So I'd like to say welcome back because the school's been on a couple times That's before. That's right, yes. And it's interesting because I say this every time that you guys are on. If this was around when I was a little boy, it would have been perfect for me because it's the way that I learn. So can you just give the viewers an overview of what you guys are all about and how it's different? Absolutely, and, and thank you for the opportunity. This is the perfect time for us to be talking about Greenwood School because there are a lot of families out there trying to find the best fit for their teen. Um, and for students who learn differently, and that's really the key to what Greenwood School is all about, is we operate on the philosophy and the knowledge that all students are different, many students learn differently, and we are designed to find out those individual students' strengths, capitalize on them, and use those to help them build up areas where they have challenges. And that's the key, because a lot of times in a traditional school, you are really at the mercy of whatever that curriculum is. Correct. However, kids learn differently. Some are extremely artistic, or they like just what they like, and that's what they learn. So when there's something where they don't have interest or they're bored, they shut it down. But you guys, are it's a different approach altogether. Uh, absolutely, and we go uh, well beyond the, the, the first question you're going to hear from a teen in school is, when am I ever going to use this? <laughs> so we're, we're going far beyond that, that teen boredom with, sure. with school, though. Um, we have uh, students at Greenwood who have diagnosed learning differences, and we're talking about anywhere from ADHD to the autism spectrum. And really, our typical student is a student who tends to be smarter than their grades may uh, appear, um, maybe have a struggle learning the way that the information is presented, or they're not being assessed the way that their brain prefers to operate. So we are a multi-sensory teaching school that is designed specifically for those students to find out where their strengths are and use those to help them in those areas. And I know one of the things that you guys always talk about is come out and visit the campus. So let's talk about that campus and why it's so different. Well, and, and I appreciated your conversation earlier about the replacement of the plastic straws because environmental education is one of the major attractions of Greenwood School. And not just because of the beauty of the campus. Um, there's, we have 10 acres of protected wetlands in behind the school. We try to uh, get the students outside as often as possible. It's always class related, even if it's a, just a brain break in the middle of the class to go outside and enjoy the weather. But in the wetlands in particular, that's where our students get to answer that question of when am I going to use this? Because they get to immediately see the positive impact that they can have on their environment, their community, through actual college level professional research that they're feeding data into for water testing. Uh, the Jones Creek runs through there and eventually ends up in the St. Johns River. And that's the thing, the practical application, and that's when I was younger growing up, that's what I needed. If I didn't see how it connected and it was just in a book, I wouldn't be able to do it, but hands-on, I would retain it. Absolutely. And seeing that you guys have this beautiful campus and it is a hands-on approach, and you're finding out how kids learn their strengths and their weaknesses, they could thrive then in that environment. Absolutely, there are a thousand ways to show, for a student to show what they know, and we, and we use as many as possible uh, to make sure that every student has the opportunity to access the information in a way that sticks with them and is meaningful to them. And every parent wants their child to thrive in school. You give them the opportunity, the tools, and then also to the support with the faculty to make that happen. So again, we said this before, but you got to come out and have a visit, walk around the campus, see why it's different, see how you change the lives of people, how they learn things, and then when they're done with school, how they go on and make an impact in the community. That is correct. And, and our students are not only successful academically, uh, every one of our graduates earns a standard Florida high school diploma. There's no uh, certificates of completion. It is something that they work very hard to uh, attain. But most of our graduates go on to uh, university, college, technical training, so trade school, some the sort step. of post-secondary education. Yeah. Well, right now, I just want to leave the information for all the families at home Absolutely. so they could contact you. So the website is greenwoodjacks.org. So again, feel free to go to that site, learn more about it, and schedule that visit. Thanks again for coming Absolutely. out. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, my hands are a little waxy <laughs> from before. Wax. No problem. Stick around. More to come right after this.